Don't let it be the game over is a violence prevention program that supports coaches, players and parents to tackle on and off field violence in sport. Don't let it be the game over was developed in direct response to these issues. The program takes a whole of club approach to tackling violence in sport by educating young people about the impact of violence and providing them with the strategies to identify and prevent harm causing behaviours. Furthermore, educating parents about how their behaviour can negatively impact their children provides young people with access to positive role models. A partnership with the SNFL Juniors and corporate sponsor SA Power Network Networks enabled the Sammy Diddy Foundation to reach over 3,000 young players and almost 2,000 parents across 42 clubs. Our next major goal is to expand these programs to a national level. Winning this award would not only provide the Foundation with a national platform to promote our programs, it would also provide connections to a like-minded group of organisations to also network with. The prestige of winning such a highly esteemed award would provide an opportunity for us to publicly celebrate our valued partners who are working tirelessly alongside us to reduce violence in the community. It also would be priceless from a marketing perspective and provide leverage for us to connect with larger national corporate organisations. We observed an immediate impact in the first year with violent on-field incidents reducing by 80% within the SNFL juniors. Our programs have a positive impact in changing attitudes and behaviours towards violence as evidenced by this feedback from the survey. Before the program, 73% of players had previously intentionally hit, slapped, punched or pushed someone. After the program, 90% of the players were more aware of the consequences of violence on the broader community. The success of the program and what makes it so special was in looking at sporting clubs and being part of the solution to combating violence within the community. By taking a whole of the club approach to tackling violence, it meant the problem was shared across the leadership of the organisation, the players, their families and the broader sporting community. What is innovative about the program is that it provides participants with a real story to unpack rather than hypothetical or case study. It also is adaptable to all sporting codes and recreational activities involving young people. We're also now running similar programs with Baseball SA and Rugby SA. We hope to be running it in soccer and basketball environments in the very near future.